morning. morning, Kids Alive. Welcome to Kids Alive Church and Home. Yeah. I'm Mr. Ryan. And I'm Miss Framey. And Merry Christmas! It's here! <laughs> well, just a few days away anyway. Yes. And I cannot wait. Me either. It's impossible not to have fun when you celebrate that Jesus came to be our Savior. Guys, Jesus truly is the greatest gift we could ever receive. Yeah. He came to rescue us and make a way so we could have a relationship with God that will never end. Mm. His birth brought joy to the whole world. Sing this song with us. And then after worship, you can just sit back and enjoy our story this morning. Christmas is about, right? It's about Christmas pie. Or Christmas is actually about a big guy in a red suit. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Christmas is about watching movies. Ah! Truth is, Christmas is about a lot of things, but there is one thing that makes this whole season worth celebrating. You know what I'm talking about. It's the presents. Let's see what we got this week. Oh. This little baby is what all the fuss is about. This is Christmas. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. You'd think that a gift from God would come in a larger package, not just a baby. There's gotta be more to it than just that. You're right. There's a lot more to it. And it all starts 
in Bethlehem. I'll see you later. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Mary's world had been turned upside down. Though she was an ordinary girl living in an unimportant town, God had sent an angel to visit her. God is very pleased with you. Me? You're talking to me? You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary was probably shocked, overwhelmed, and maybe fearful, but she chose joy. She chose to trust that God loved her so much he had given her an important part to play in his story. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Just as the angel had said, Mary became pregnant and the months raced by. Mary and her new husband Joseph prepared for the brand new baby to arrive. A cradle. I'll make him the most beautiful cradle you've ever seen. Joseph was a carpenter and took pride in creating smooth tables and sturdy cartwheels but his work was soon interrupted. Mary, Joseph, and every person in the tiny town of Nazareth streamed out of their homes. A messenger on a dusty horse skidded to a stop in the small town market. Is this really a town? It doesn't deserve a dot on the map. As the people of Nazareth watched from a careful distance, the messenger pulled out a scroll and cleared his throat. Hear ye, hear ye. Caesar Augustus orders that everyone must go to their town of origin to be counted. Can't you just count us now? One. Two. Three. No, no. The counting must be done properly and in order so we can make you pay lots of taxes. Farewell, and by that I mean good riddance. Mary and Joseph and their neighbors were left <laughs> coughing in the dust. Joseph! We'll have to go to Bethlehem, where your family is from. I'll go. You can't travel right now. Uh, of course I can. Absolutely not. A short time later, Mary and Joseph set off on the long road to Bethlehem. Perhaps they recalled the words of the prophet Micah. Bethlehem, you might not be an important town in the nation of Judah, but out of you will come for me a ruler over Israel. It's possible Mary rode on a donkey. Or she might have walked right alongside Joseph. Either way, the journey took nearly a week, and camping wasn't very comfortable for a woman about to have a baby. Please tell me your cousins will have a bed for us. Great Aunt Ada is the perfect hostess. But when they reached Bethlehem, the little town was neither silent nor still. It looks like everyone else came home too. <sighs> well, if Aunt Ada doesn't have room, there's always Cousin Gideon. He, oh, he makes an excellent pigeon pie. But not a single one of Joseph's relatives had a spare room or an extra bed. Please, just anywhere. This baby is coming soon. At last, someone found them room in a place where the animals stayed. Absolutely not. We'll take it. Mary and Joseph did everything they could to get the space ready for a new baby. Clean hay, fresh water, and in a short time, Mary's baby was born. It's a boy! His name is Jesus. Mary tore a clean cloth into wide strips and tightly wrapped her baby to keep him warm and cozy. No cradle? Where will he sleep? Put fresh hay in the animal's feeding trough. We'll lay him in there. What about the sheep? They don't mind. Mary lay her tiny baby in the clean hay, the king of the whole world, sleeping in a manger next to the animals. He's perfect. Yes, he is. In the most unexpected place, at the most unexpected time, God had shown his love. He sent his very own son as a baby to rescue the whole world.
Do you want to know what Christmas is really about? Ho, ho, ho! No! Christmas is about love. Around 2,000 years ago, God saw that the world needed help, and he loved the world so much that he sent this baby. But he is way more than just a baby. You see, Jesus would grow up and live a perfect life, and even though he didn't deserve it, out of love, he would die on a cross to pay for the sins of the world. And that was just the help we needed. That was just the love we needed. Jesus made it possible for us to have a relationship with God. Jesus saved us. So, while you're celebrating this year, while you're singing and eating pie and opening presents, don't forget this present that God gave to us. Don't forget this one thing. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. So, you know what? It's Christmas! Let's have the biggest party ever! Who's with me? Yeah! Let's party! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Yeah! We're going shopping for that Christmas pie! Ooh, I need that! I need this! I need Christmas spring! Yes! Christmas really is all about love. God showed us how much He loves us by sending Jesus to rescue us. That is one very big reason we can trust Him no matter what. Yeah. God loved us so much that He gave us a Savior. Say that with me. God, God loved God us so much that, that He gave, gave us a savior. savior. All right, let's pray and thank God right now. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you gave us a Savior. Yeah. Christmas is so much fun and we know the real reason we're celebrating is because you gave us the best gift we could ever receive. You sent us your Son, Jesus, the Savior of the world. Lord, please help us remember your love this Christmas yeah. and always. We love you and we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, friends. We've had such a good time with you this morning. You go ahead and stick around for a few more minutes because the so-and-so show is up next. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys so much. We do. We, we bless you. Yeah, we hope you have a wonderful, awesome, fun Christmas week. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Brandon, grab some swim trunks and meet me outside for some fun in the sun. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, hey Brandon, come on over here, I just, Threw some hot dogs on the g grill. John, what are you doing? Well, we've been cooped up inside for so long, I thought we might as well come out here and take advantage of the beautiful weather. It's like 12 degrees. Temperature is a construct. Okay, seriously, John, what is your plan here? Yeah, We're you've not... heard of Christmas in July, right? Well, I wanted to do J July and Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. Buy yourself some lemonade. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's frozen. Uh, yeah, it's summer. It's frozen lemonade. You're the one who's going to be frozen if you don't get out of here. Come on. All right, let, let me get you a coat at least, okay? Here you go, buddy. I feel great. Yeah. You're strong, Brandon. You work out. I warned you. John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Hey, Christmas Day is just a few days away, and we wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas from all of us here at the show. Hey, John, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Uh, the lighting of the Yule log. Really? Mm -hmm. That didn't turn out so well for you last year. <laughs> what are you doing, oh. John? 
Hey, Brandon, uh, hey. Longbeard Carl cut this limb down and I thought I'd use it for the annual Yule log. Oh. <laughs> so you don't have a fireplace. <laughs> fireplace. Oh, hey. Hey, Brandon, hold on what? a second. Ah. Hey, Brandon, there's a squirrel back here. What does your whole family hate you, little squirrel family? How you doing there in the tree? Hey, hey, you. No, no. No, stay back. No. Oh, no! Oh! No! No, no! Let burns! Oh, get it off! Get it off! It's on my eyes! Ah! Ah! No, no! <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that. <clears throat> Squirrel, where? One of my favorite Christmas traditions is the Christmas card, but we decided this year we were gonna do living Christmas cards, so let's see what we got. Okay, yeah. Oh, here's one from Longbeard Carl. Oh, Longbeard Carl. Oh, this should be interesting. And it should be fun. <laughs> Festive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh, okay. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one from the So and So Show player. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree! Thy leaves are so unchanging. So moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you know, uh, another one of my favorite things to do at Christmas is to reach out to the people I love and tell them I am thankful for them. All right, let's call some people. Okay. Me, you want yeah, me to do pull it? Pull up my contact list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Got it. And just scroll through it. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay. Hey, I'm having trouble putting this on my face. You got it? Scrolling. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Scrolling. Yeah. Okay. Scrolling. And stop. Great. You are now calling a random person. Okay. Oh, no. What? Hello? It's Sugar Tilt a Whirl. The cotton candy lady? Yes. Yikes. Hello, Sugar. Wow. If it isn't Brandon and the one with the hat, it's John. I know. <laughs> uh, are you still in the cotton candy business, sugar? You ever been to a carnival in December? I haven't. Eat a lot of cotton candy around the Yule log, do ya? No, but I, I thought- Business maybe is slow is what I'm saying. We're so sorry. What are you sorry for? It's not your business. Your business is sitting there and talking. You can do that year round. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to I've say launched a new business for Christmas. Uh, what is your business? Everyone loves singing telegrams, right? Sure they do. <laughs> no, they don't, John. Everyone hates singing telegrams. They're obnoxious and invasive. Okay. So I came up with a new kind of telegram just in time for the holidays. Want to buy one? Uh, sure, I'll take one. That'll be twelve ninety nine. dollars I accept Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Ethereum. Oh, okay. Um, uh, all right, there. Thanks. Come in. Thank you for your purchase of Sugar Tilt a Whirl Screaming Yellowgram. Why sing when you can yell? Dear Brandon and the other one. I hope your Christmas is filled with good tidings and silent nights. Stop. I hope you get everything you wished for, unless you wished for cotton candy, because I'm not doing that right now. We talked about this. Stop. Happy Christmas to you both. You are the only friends I have. Stop. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Huh? Uh, but here's something we should all expect. Huh? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Stop. What is up, good people? Just getting our Christmas cheer on. 
I like it. Hey, Kellen, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Oh, I am a huge fan of giving gifts. Oh, I love getting gifts. I think he said giving. Right. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love getting a good gift, but there's really something special about finding that unexpected surprise to give someone you love. It's really cool. I also love telling today's Bible story every year. So let's take a look at the book of Luke and the unexpected surprise that God gave to the world. Lights? It happened like this. Caesar Augustus made a law, a decree, a census would be taken, which meant everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Hear ye, hear ye, I, Caesar, declare, no, I decree, everyone in the Roman world is to be counted. You must return to your hometown to be listed, and so it has been said, and so it will be so. Joseph was engaged to Mary, who was pregnant and about to give birth. When he heard the emperor's decree, he knew he had to travel to his hometown. And so, Joseph and Mary began their journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. The journey probably took them several days. So think about that next time you want to complain about driving a few hours to visit your grandparents. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. Hey, we need a place to stay for the night. Sorry, guest rooms are all full. Please, Mary is about to have a baby. Isn't there anything you can do? Not unless you want to sleep over there. We'll take it. So Mary and Joseph stayed near the animals, in a cave or a stable of some kind. While they were there, Mary gave birth to a baby boy. There was no bed, so Mary wrapped the baby in large strips of cloth and placed him in the manger. The manger was a feeding trough for animals. The baby, of course, would be called Jesus, and he was the Son of God, and he would one day become the Savior of the world a very humble and unexpected gift on that first Christmas, the best present any of us could ever ask for. And that is the Christmas story. Wow. Yeah, that was great, huh. right? I love this story. There's so much going on at Christmas, getting gifts and going to parties, seeing family and friends, Christmas movies, all the really good things. But the Christmas story reminds us that God loves us so much that he sent his son for us. And that's what Christmas is all about. Merry Christmas, Kellen. Merry Christmas, fellas. See you later. Later. I love that Christmas all started with a gift, God's gift of his son to the world. Hey, maybe that's why we give gifts for Christmas to remind everyone of that very first gift. I think you're right, John. Ah. So, reveal the question. What are you giving this Christmas? Yeah, we love to talk about what we're getting for Christmas, but what are you giving? You can give someone your time. You can give someone something unexpected. Mm-hmm. Herb-crusted goat cheese. Uh -huh. Were you expecting it? No, I was not. Mmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. You can give someone your love with your actions, your words, and that can point people to God who loved them so much he sent us his son. Yeah. Talk about it with each other. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Merry Christmas. Christmas. You want a bite? I don't. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun <laughs> no. it is to ride oh, a no, no, no. open sleigh. Stop, stop before you break. <laughs>